What if I told you showing up was his only battle? That the road to greatness isn't always paved with blood, sweat, and tears. And that sometimes, the quickest way to victory is to not play the game at all. Thirty for Thirty presents Conman, the LC Challenge Story. As of today, I could tell you um, there has been no talks of removing his name uh, from from the trophy. I think it's more um, of a reactive um, position that we need to be in because um, this is going to be a part of the history of the wiffle ball. Just like steroids are always going to be a part of the history of Major League Baseball. HGH um, and opioid abuse at the National Football League level. When you develop a league that is of, of this size and this caliber, scandal is unfortunately probably going to have to be a part of it. So at this time, we're not looking to remove his name from the trophy, but how do we prevent another Chelan Gate um, from happening in the future? Because there's certainly a level of integrity that needs to be upheld uh, at the WBWS that we don't want someone... Um, like a LC Chowling undermining. We needed to dig deeper. We needed to know more about this apparent mastermind. We needed to talk to the people that have known LC their entire lives. Hopefully they could shine a light on the real LC Chowling. You know, I can remember when he was a kid, um, Ben and Katie would build, uh, they put puzzles together and build models. They played in the sandbox and build forts and things. and. It seemed like about the time they got done with everything, LC would come out of nowhere and kind of take credit for it, like he had engineered the whole project and everything. I didn't think much of it then, and I sure didn't think it would carry into adulthood. When we were kids, LC was always taking credit for my accomplishments. I mean, every time I would do something great, he'd be right there telling me that we were a team in this. I got old after a while, I mean, it annoyed me for years, but after a while, you start to feel sorry for him. I mean, usually it's the older brother who helps out the younger brother, lifts him up, makes him feel better. But as the years went by, I realized our roles were reversed. He was never very coordinated. He wasn't fast. He was left-handed. He had everything going against him there, but he was always very good. He would win quizzes at math counts, played the hell out of the baritone. What I remember about LC's playing days, you know, he really wasn't much of an athlete. Um, sometimes I felt obligated to get him into the games because uh, we'd be up by a boatload of points or, you know, it was we were losing a lot, so he deserved to play. But uh, he was always a great guy to have around because he'd pick up towels and jock straps around. When I saw his picture on the trophy, I couldn't believe it was my son, LC. But as I got to thinking about it, kind of remember he's he's kind of done this before weaseled his way into pictures like that so it kind of didn't surprise me surprise me not really I mean I knew he didn't play he's been doing this kind of thing his whole life Elsie always finds a way to get onto a championship team but that doesn't mean he was in an integral part of the team everybody's just too nice to kick him off Clearly, Chillingate wasn't the first time LC had taken credit for something he wasn't deserving of. However, this alone wasn't enough to condemn the man. We wanted to talk to some of the people who were actually there for the 2017 Wiffle World Series in order to get further insight into LC and hopefully paint a clearer image of what happened that day. Justin, is this your uh, championship photo from last year? Oh yeah, by golly it is. Do you remember taking this picture? Yes, I sure do. It was a little blurry, but I sure do. Can you tell me who the person on the left is? Are you talking about Chase Carpenter? No, yeah, sure. the person to the left of Chase. Is that LC? It sure is. Were you aware that he was a part of your team? LC was on my team? Well, according to this picture, the official roster and the Shane Roberts Cup he was. Hmm, I don't remember that. Pat, it's such an honor to sit down with you as you're the only two-time Wiffle Ball World Series champion. Yeah, thanks. I know. Um, I guess it's an uh, honor to sit down with you as well. You, like, what, played in 
all the tournaments or something like one out of or like 40 people have done that so I guess that's somewhat of an accomplishment obviously individually none of those players can stack up with me but really not even people like Jordan Heck and Justin Thornton, he's won MVP before too, and L.C. Yeah. Chun. I, I have no idea here. What do you, who was the last person you said L. on L.C. Chun. I have no idea. Who is that? Leonard Chun. You graduated with him. You're talking about Leonard Curtis Chun, the yep. meister I went to high school with? Mm -hmm. well, first off, he's not even worth talking about. He couldn't hold my jock if I was crippled from the waist down, so... Well, I mean, what, what else do you think about him, though? I mean, he was an integral part of that team, wasn't he? He's in the picture. Listen, I have no idea if he was a part of that team or not. All I got to say is nobody's ever been on that field that can play like I do. Um, I'm not really sure, you know, where you're going with this exactly. Pat, we brought you here to talk about LC. Pat Bresnan does not drive to a location to do a documentary about some no-name guy. I was under the impression, my agent told me, I was coming here to do a documentary about the greatest football player to ever live, Patrick Michael Bresnahan. Now, get the questions back on track or I'm done. Pat, I, I know we told your people that over the phone. This was a documentary okay. about L.C. Chon. Well, if that's all you got for me, this is f***ing bullshit. I am so fucking hard. Get my goddamn agent on the phone. Are you fucking kidding me? LC fucking Chellen? I'm the greatest fucking football player of all time. You're talking about LC fucking Chellen. Jesus Christ. What do you think? Should we just call it? Let's, let's cut it. It was becoming clear that there was a side to LC Chellen that many didn't know. Maybe he was a master con artist. Maybe he wasn't. We managed to arrange a face to face sit down with the man behind the scandal. Just roll, talk me through what your role was on the team. I was, I was the manager for the team, so I played um, a couple of games. The manager's a big part of the team, I'm not trying, yeah. Manager's a big part of the team, but yeah, I, I got to uh, manage and uh, play some games. A lot of things you gotta think about. You gotta think about what lineup you're gonna have and who's gonna be hitting in what order, uh, where people are gonna be playing in the field. Uh, you have to pay attention to the umpires too. We have various umpires here and make sure that they're doing the job they should be doing something you have to pay a lot of attention to um, and then motivate your players motivate everyone to do the best that they can where would your team have been last year without you I don't know if we would have had a team without me last year um, I think it would have fallen apart really uh, there was uh, some tension at times between some players and uh, I feel like I really held the team together the Wiffle Ball World Series official rules pertaining to inactive managers states in Article 2, Section 4, Clause 34B, Rule 12A, teams composed of four players must use all four individuals unless a player is unable to play. Many have argued that LC's severe lack of athleticism allows him to fall into that category. Others believe what he did ruined the integrity of the entire league as a direct slap in the face of the greats of Wiffle Ball past. So obviously, Chad, elephants in the room. Chellengate, 2017 World Football World Series. Everybody's talking about it. What are your thoughts? Everyone's, who's everyone? Who's everyone? Anytime I open a paper, look at a magazine, ESPN is covering it all over the place. It's all people can talk about right now. We're back here in the beautiful backyard of Shane Roberts Field with an opportunity to talk about 2018 can we focus on that, Trevor? Can we focus on this year's tournament? But the people want to hear what's being implemented for this year's tournament. What's going to stop something from this happening again? It's still going to be the most greatest weekend, most wonderful time for, for all the participants and spectators alike. Let's continue to look forward and not live in the past, Trevor. Like this is an opportunity for us to speak of the great future we have ahead of us. Do you acknowledge that LC Chelland cheated and illegally got on a championship team of the 2017 World Series. The 2018 Wiffball World Series is going to be the best year yet.
Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah. 